Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today is about a uh, licensing issue we had or I had on the on the journey of building the bridges, right? So um, this video will cover just how to set up your license in that way that you don't have to connect to the license server all the time. And this, yeah, will solve my issues. Hopefully, I had with uh, this the disconnects and the TCP timeouts. I had when constructing the bridges, right? So, um, well, it's actually straightforward, but um, I thought it would be save you some trouble I have with uh, the hosted HWU if you're using that, because there's a limit which is not obvious, obvious, and that's what um, I want to show you here. So this will be a short video, and I'm. Um, Quitting all the talk here and uh, just jumping into it. So this is the licensing utility. You can get that via going here in your program folder and there. <laughs> no, not ANSYS. So doesn't matter which Altair product you use here. And you have this Altair license utility. So click that and you're back here. So and in this tab, hosted HWU. Uh, you could connect your your token and um, yeah take advantage of, of the hosted HWU, which I'm doing. And um, the thing is, and that's that's the key point here, that you can borrow the HWU only for a limited amount of time. So 24 hours will work, but that's the maximum. So nothing uh, 168 or 336. Uh, ours will work just 24 and a little bit this is not the most easy way the easiest way to do it but well this is what it is you click on borrow so then you're entering currently in borrow mode so begin operation uh, opening application that you will need and this includes preprocessors postprocessors and solvers so in order for me Let's, let's take that example, right? So I was building bridges <laughs> with my bridge constructor or bridge optimizer. And I used Hypermesh for building the models. I used Optistruct for solving them. And I used Hyperview for viewing or screenshotting them. Right. So I need all those. So easy enough. I start up Hyperworks 2021.2. So this will be the first thing. Uh, I can also start up Hyperview as well. Not one entirely sure if Hyperworks also covers Hyperview, but better be safe than sorry. I guess it's not covered. All right, so Hyperworks I opened, Hyperview. All right, also opened. Now, the solver. You have this um, compute console. From 2021.2 up, I think. Because before that, this was called Optistruct, but it's now Compute Console. And that you have to use a model with optimization, I guess. Well, the thing is, I know that different amount of tokens will get used when you're doing optimization as an optimization. So I mean, Optistruct run with an optimization. Or Optistruct run without an optimization, so with opt skip, for example. And for that reason, it's better to use a optimization routine for Optistruct for borrowing it. And I, I have not tested that, but um, better safe than sorry. So just run a simple optimization. Could be anything. I think you could also quit it after the first or two iterations. That should work. Um, and then you end the borrowing mode and you can close all your application. And here you have it. So this is what you have opened. So global zone EU, I think this is depending on your location, obviously, but this is um, the main feature. Then you have Hyperworks, Hyperview, Hypermesh, Optistruct. That's it. So for, from now on, when I request a license, because it's in that borrowed state, I don't have to contact the license um, manager, 
which solves my uh, collection problems. Because what I had was all those disconnects, although all the other services, like a YouTube video, for example, um, they run fine. But I think it's something of a ping issue. So small, um, maybe a small, small timeout uh, window, which is set on Altair side, which obviously my internet connection could not make for whatever reason. And um, that's what caused me uh, the license errors. But with this, it's, it's solved, or it should be solved. So I have to test it, but um, actually from just thinking through it, it's solved because you have it once borrowed, now it's stored locally. When you're requesting the license of those applications, uh, you don't have to have the internet connection. And, um, and that's it, right? So, yeah. So this is a short video of how you set up the, the licensing uh, for your borrowed licensing applications. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. And um, yeah, see you around.